What's going on? It's John Gap here and in today's video I'm going to be explaining to you exactly why you procrastinate and how you can stop doing that once and for all. So you can go from not doing the things you want to do to achieve your goals like going on social media, watching Netflix, wasting time and replace that for doing those actions you know are going to grow your business and take it to the level you want so you can live the life of freedom, make money and live life on your own terms basically, all right? Because I would say the number one thing that prevents anybody from achieving their goals is procrastinating, right? When you think about it, we have an abundance of information on how and what we need to do, but we don't follow through with it, right? And I was extremely guilty of this, especially when I was in college. And um, I remember I would procrastinate and put my college work off till 6 a.m. that morning, that day to get it done, right? And I would always find myself stressed, overwhelmed, and it would just be so painful, right? But this is gonna explain to you why. So to break this down, your brain has one job, right? And that's to keep you comfortable, it's to keep you safe, it's to keep you happy, basically, right? So when in our mind, we relate something to pain, our brain is like, hey, run away from that, run away from that, go towards pleasure. So if we look, this is pleasure and this is pain. Your mind is in the middle here, right? And it has, like I said, it has one job. It's to run away from pain and move towards pleasure. It doesn't want to do things that are painful. Think of it if you put your hand on a hot stove, right? Would you put your hand back on that hot stove? Of course not, right? Think about if you was going to cross the road and you saw a car coming really fast, would you just walk out? Of course not, right? Because your brain is trying to prevent you from doing things that are gonna harm you. That's all it really comes down to. So when we're procrastinating, right? Whatever the thing you're procrastinating on, you in some way are relating pain to that. When you think about it on the deepest level, you are relating pain to doing that. So if you're trying to grow your business, right? And you know that you need to do outreach to grow the business, but you're not doing the outreach, you relate that to pain. And that's why you find yourself going towards pleasure. Now, this is where people get confused, I believe, because they think that, oh, um, I'm, I'm addicted to social media, or, oh, man, I always just find myself going on Netflix all day or doing bad habits that aren't serving them. but you have to understand this, right? Those are just habits that you formed over time. I want you to imagine, right? If this here, if pleasure, if you had made that, let's say reading a book from when you was young, from when you was a kid, when you felt a type of way, you felt fear, you read a book, subconsciously, that's what you would do now. But the only difference now is we have our phones, we have Instagram, we have Facebook, we have YouTube and these billion dollar companies who have found ways to get you sucked in. So whenever you find pain in your life, you escape to pleasure. Think again of like examples, um, you know, for myself, as I've became a lot more aware of my, uh, you know, my intuition and how I feel, I would notice that when I would feel stressed out, let's say I was working on my business or something wasn't going the way I wanted, I would always go and eat food, right? I would just eat food. I'd be like, oh, well, it's snack time, let me go and eat, right? I'm escaping pain and moving towards pleasure. My brain is, your subconscious mind is always gonna be trying to help you out here. So when we break this down, this is where it gets really powerful, right? Because I'm sure a lot of you guys watch and say to yourself, today's gonna be the day I'm gonna change. Today's the day I'm gonna work on my business and transform it. You write a plan out, you do all those things consciously, but then you find yourself going back to those old habits, right? And again, going back to that because you relate pain. And when there's pain involved, think of if you're gonna put your hand on a hot stove, immediately you're gonna pull away you release like chemicals in your brain, right? Like stress hormones that make you wanna escape this pain. It's like so unconscious, you're not even aware of it. And then before you know it, you're in this state here, which is pleasure. You know, why would you go and do the outreach when that's painful and there's deeper rooted fears there, such as, you know, what if I get rejected? Um, you know, other things could be like, oh, even if I make the money, I'm not gonna keep it or, um, you know, I can't even deliver the service anyway. So these thoughts will overpower you every time and you will go here, you will go to the social media, you will go and do the things that are not actually gonna grow your business. Maybe it could be busy work, right? So you're like editing your website and you're like, yeah, 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 I'll get to, I'll get to the, the thing that's painful later on. So let's break this bit down here. 
the conscious mind, right? The conscious part of your brain. This is the part of your brain that says, all right, I'm gonna put my hand in the air right now. This is the part of your brain that says, okay, um, let me pick up this food right now. Okay, whatever it might be, you make a conscious decision with choice. You say, I'm going to do this and you do it. Now, that's 10% of basically the actions we take day to day, only 10%. Think about this, guys. 10% of your days, you are only, a 10% of your day, you are conscious, meaning you have actual control over what you're doing. The rest of your behaviors and your actions are subconscious, meaning, you know, 90%, 90% of your actions are subconscious, meaning you are not even aware that you're doing them, all right? So really try to understand this. And when we come to look in here, all right, again, going back to the pain and pleasure, this is why you procrastinate, because unconsciously, without you realizing it, right, your, your brain is there trying to help you out, you, 90% of it, is, is controlling you on the pain and the pleasure is like well you know let's just go and do this because it's 90 percent is controlling you that's why you can you know when you have one of those days where you mess around and then you look back on the end of the day and you go what was i doing today right you get to the end of the week and you go what did i even achieve this week right i know you've all been there i've been here as well and it's because our subconscious mind is controlling us basically so to change the kind of paradigm here and to stop procrastinating what we need to do is we need to make the thing that's painful pleasurable right and the thing that's pleasurable painful so i'll give you a great example of this for myself i used to always want to read books and i would always find myself starting books not completing them or just reading them and then i would stop and then it'd be some days i'd read some days i wouldn't read so what i decided to do was say all right cool this is something that I want to start doing. So I wanted to form this positive habit, but I was relating pain to it in some way. Some part of me was like, it's boring, right? It's long and just other things that were like stories going on in my head that was relating it to, to pain, basically. Then I realized that a lot of my time, right? Was getting wasted on YouTube. <laughs> I would waste a ton of time on YouTube, especially let's say on like a Friday night or Saturday night, if I was at home, I would always find myself going on YouTube uh, and just watching a ton of videos, mindlessly scrolling and scrolling. So what I came to realize was that this, this habit I wanted to form, right? And that could be anything for you. It could be growing your business, could be transforming your body, something you want to do, but you're not doing it, right? Again, you're relating that to pain. So I was, I was like, man, if I could just read, if I could, the time I spend on YouTube, if I could just read, I will transform my life, I'll be happier, and there were so many benefits as to why. But I was relate, relating it to pain, and I was relating YouTube to pleasure. So really think about this. The thing I didn't wanna do, right? Consciously, I was like, I hate going on YouTube, I love reading, but subconsciously, 90% of my decisions were, hey man, you, you know, I was getting a secret re reward from going on YouTube. There was like a, a secret re reward. So I realized what this was. And what I came to realize, the reward that I was getting from going on YouTube, right? It was the dopamine of exciting new things. I could just click on one video and then go on another video and then another video and then another video, right? And it was like new information, new, um, new things coming into my brain like every second. And I was, it was just like crazy. So the, the kind of, the reward I was gaining from going on YouTube was this new dopamine hit every time I clicked on a video. So what I decided to do, right? I started to tell myself, and I do this in my, my morning visualizations and evening visualizations, right? Um, I started to relate that to pain. So I started to say to myself, man, you're wasting hours of time on YouTube. It's stealing money from you is making you lack confidence in yourself, right? And I kept on listing out all the negative reasons why going on YouTube was bad. And what I started to do was reframe reading in my mind as the same reward I got from going on YouTube. So I said, every page you flick on is a new bit of information that's gonna make you rich. Every new bit of information you read is a new dopamine hit, right? So what I basically done, I switched out the, uh, the pleasure of going on YouTube for pain and made the pain of reading the pleasure. Because when it comes to habit formation, you have to understand as well that you can never 
just stop doing a habit. That doesn't, that will never work because you've ingrained this habit into your mind now. So your brain is always looking for that dopamine hit. It's always looking for that reward. And unless you give it that reward, it will always go back to the, to the behavior. Okay, this is such a crucial step into forming habits because so many people will just try and stop the behavior. Think about people that just say, I'm gonna go on a diet, right? I'm gonna go on a diet and just stop eating junk food. It doesn't work because your brain is still craving that sugar or that feeling of relaxation, all right? Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense, right? So I would always try again and, and say to myself, I'm gonna read and I'm gonna stop uh, stop going on YouTube and I'm going to read, but I would always find myself somehow, somehow, some way going on my phone, going on YouTube, going on my laptop and going on YouTube. But it wasn't until I started to, again, subconsciously relate this pleasure of going on YouTube to pain and the pain of reading as uh, pleasurable and, and start to unconsciously really think about that did I start to change? Now, let me break this down for you even more, why this is so powerful. So when we think about the subconscious mind as well, basically, this is the part of your brain that is emotional, is your beliefs, and it's your habits, okay? So really think about that. <laughs> your emotions are, you know, basically the way, the emotions are energy in motion. So think of it as, uh, let's say, excitement, it could be fear, it could be pleasure. So you are unconsciously, you have formed pain in some way and pleasure in some way. So when you're sitting there and you're trying to make this decision to do outreach and grow your business or whatever action it may be to grow your business, but you unconsciously relate that to pain and the emotions around that are fear, your beliefs around that are, I'm gonna fail anyway, and your habits are, when you try and do work, you get distracted and lack focus, right? This 90% is always going to overpower you every single time now you may have it where you are crushing it right and you, and you go in but what you'll find there is you're using willpower and discipline now the thing with willpower and discipline is that when this guy comes back right the subconscious mind comes back and he's he's like you know maybe you're tired or you've you've had some events happen in your life that makes you again operate from here more then you're always going to go back to just your old subconscious behaviors so Again, your emotions, beliefs, and habits. My emotions were like, oh man, you know, in the past I've tried to read and I didn't, I didn't complete the books and it didn't work out and I read the book and I didn't gain the information from it, whatever it was, right? Those are my beliefs around it. My emotions were like pain. Oh, this is, you know, this fear because I failed in the past at reading, stuff like that. And my habits were when I read, I get distracted and go on my phone anyway. So I'd always, when I start reading, I'd always find myself going on my phone, yeah? So... Once you can change these three things and you can reprogram your subconscious mind, again, I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but you need to understand this. You can reprogram your subconscious mind so these emotions, beliefs, and habits are positive and serving you. You're gonna find it as easy to do this thing, right? As easy as you're doing the thing, easy, sorry. You're gonna find it as easy to do the thing that you find um, painful, right? You're gonna find it easy to read, let's say myself, as easy to read as easily as you go onto YouTube. And that's what I found. So now I'm finding it more painful to go on YouTube and waste time than to go on to read a book because I've shifted my subconscious mind. So I really hope this video helped you out. Um, it's really a powerful video. If you enjoyed this type of video, let me know in the comments because I'm trying to understand what I can do to best serve you watching the video right now and how I can most add value to you. Um, but if you found this valuable, then make sure you subscribe, like the video, and in the description below, there is a link where you can book in a call with myself to see if I can help you grow your business this year by mastering your mindset. Now, there's only a few certain people I do like to work with. It's mainly people who are advanced or intermediate entrepreneurs, all right? You have the foundations in place, so maybe you've been through a course, you've studied the YouTube videos, but you've realized that it's you getting in the way. You're procrastinating on doing the things you know you need to be doing. Or people that already have, you know, they have grown their business and they have it set up and they're doing well, but they know that their, you know, their routines or their habits and their kind of identity is the thing holding them back again. So it's not the tactics, it's them, all right? So if that sounds like you, click the link below where you can book in a a call with me, a 10 minute call, and we'll just see if I can even help you. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching this video and uh, follow me on Instagram at John Gab. 
And I think that's all for this video. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next one.